one of the best, you know, one of the best, if not most consistent car opera on this map. So it's not like it's going to be easy. But um, yes, there's space here on Dust 2. This should be a good one. So I'm just going to take a look in the last three months here. We're looking at 1.38 rating for Simple on Dust 2. A huge 94.4 ADR, very high for an opper, and uh, 1.49 impact rating, just breaking the charts, really, with his performances. But here, here we have it. We've had 60 rounds already in this series. It's been a not perfect CS all around, but now a simple showing up in such a big way, it's going to push Astralis to their absolute limits, and you better believe um, a slow start will catch up to them. You know that simple is not going to stop now. We're in the real FPL hours at this point. Real FPL hours. Hold on. <laughs> it's the game has really started. Time. I need to start. Hmm. Real FPL hours. If anybody's still... He's doing it again. Yeah, he's the no... What's going on? He's got the no... No silencer USB. Explain yourself. The forest. Well, the forest leaves in the hands of Electronic. An old school USP, good for a kill and an assist already. They've got a player pinned over by the blue box. And Zipic's dead. Magisk and Glaive, that's all they've got left. But that bomb, it's been completely cut away from the hands of Astralis. And while Magisk is going to continue to take these Glock shots at the furthest possible distance, <laughs> turns out he's going to find one. Now it is still the man advantage for Navi. Glaive takes that away. This would be the two versus four. Glaive, he's now low HP. Magisk, he's pushed the player off of the bomb control. Astralis, they are absolutely oh, no recovering this pistol. That's 2v4 into the 1v1. Eight Glaive seconds. versus Boomich, barely any time. And Boomich is going to run as fast as he can back behind that blue box. No chance, Glaive. Perfectly played by Boomich. Nicely done to run away. Glaive gets all four in the 2v4. Uh, but it's not for the round win. That's one up for Na'Vi. And we'll check this out. Of course, some shots have to be missed for this situation. What is that Glock headshot all the way down to the back of pit? The depths. And Glaive, that's a wicked shot, man. A couple of wicked shots, actually. Just went for the books. Sorry, I guess he got an opening kill. And Matt just got one in the 2v4. Pistols here. Hard-earned pistol round for Navi, but a win nonetheless. That's all that matters. I'm going to use this default to talk shop a little bit. Get a feel for the setup. I don't know when the last time these guys played Dust 2 against each other, if it was at Beijing, that I'm not actually sure about. Might be an interesting thing to look at, actually. The last match was a 2-0 in favor of Na'Vi. Yeah, it looks like right now they've got the confidence and the will to pull out another series win, even if it's a bit more labored. Good fallback damage here for Simple. Perfectly timed with the nade throw. Perfectly placed. And Astralis have to make a decision. No, not even a, not even a flashbang here. They've done the math. They didn't have anything to spare. Flamey hears these footsteps, so high alert. Easy pickup. Simple in position with the M4. Has a player thrown in his direction. Oh, dude. Oh, oh. Okay. Four player spray. Simple Imagine. continues on from Nuke. Listen, it's just the anti-eco. But those headshots were crisp. Wow, it's pretty sick. He melted him. He melted him down like a cheese stick in the microwave powder. Again? <laughs> You're getting hungry, huh? It's Midnight been, snack? It's been the two maps. It's been 90 rounds since the last time I said that. The 60 rounds. We're looking for 90. Come on, let's go the distance. It's the match we've all been waiting for. I flash out to try to punish the pit cross. Dupree misses those shots. Flash over. Glaive's third most, most used gun. And Simple, he's doing right. damn well to get all this damage off. Oh, the push here from Electronic. 
Now it's versus guns. Yeah. And it's still looking just as good. A little wild. Oh, there's still Jesus. a player alive. And Simple's just giving it to him down here in the tunnels. Magisk in a one versus five. Let him die in peace. Cuts down a single player. 50 health. There's still more than a minute on the clock. And Navi, they have the gall to go fighting off of Catwalk. To go charging into tunnels. A 3-0 start. And, well, Simple. He's on Yo, one. Thanks for the show, Simple. Let's go. Let's go. Love to see that. First there's this one, then there's this one, then there's the jumping shot. See, mouse wheel bug's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> you can recover. <laughs> it's not the end of the day. Put on the exo suit. Don't get me started. New danger zone map for zone danger. And Astralis, they need to recoup the confidence. Okay, show them they're not scared. Missed Eagle shots by Glaive. That could have been the opening. We'll see if Astralis follow up. Again, it's electronic in these one versus one engagements. And the frag grenade is just going to chip device further down the score to 34. He's got the power potential too. Electronic known to put up a few numbers. Oh, this is fiery. Yeah, there's not even a kill here in this round. So this is also about that, right? The clean rounds, no kills, no upgrades needed for Navi. A very, very fine start. Device instantly goes up into the op. He's not here to play games any longer, but uh, Na'Vi, they don't need to upgrade. They are all set, happy with their three recovered AKs and two M4s. Full kits, full utility. $8,900 in the bank for Simple. 93 for Flamey. Game just started. Couple of incendiaries burning out over on long. Zipex tasked to hold this. And Dupree is just going through the motions here at the bottom of middle. See how long before Simple comes hunting. He can only wait so long before that bloodthirst takes over. But he is doing a very good job of staying patient. Buys the CT spawn. Dupree up into the stairs. Hangs on. There's still this chance for the Boomage versus Zipex fight. Loses 20 some health. Only goes one round. Yeah, falls back a bit. We'll see the whole bout. They're pressing up for the long split. We got any impact grenades here? No, simple. It's not holding on to anything. Nope. Electronic has one more smoke to throw, but that's it. Flamey, he does still have some utility, but. He's just playing counter flash over on long. It's looking like a five guy cat hit. Yeah, they might do it. They might do it. There's a there's enough utility to go for a fake, but no one's sitting here at Xbox to try to open things up from that perspective. And simple, I mean, either he farms or he gets nothing, right? Like this is a this is a play where he's playing very committed. And it looks like he is gonna get back into position. Oh, let's see how this works out. Oh, this, this could position. be very juicy. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god, they're gonna walk right by oh simple. He goes ahead to pull the trigger. Two kills for him. Electronic one off of the ramp leaves Magisk and Device. He did what he had to. He waited long enough. Smoke grenade down on the cusp of the site, and Device, he wants this angle. Boomich. Looking to play patient as his two teammates are slowly working around from CT spawn. Device now getting a little wary, getting a little worried. Soon to get flashed off of the angle. When will Boomich activate? They've got a Molotov and a frag grenade still on the side of Navi. They could throw that, and they do, over on Cat. He just caught the head of Boomich. Frag inside the site, takes Device to 20. Magisk, he's now down. Device follows right thereafter. Five rounds in a row for Navi. Perfecto, clearing the board. Perfectly well handled on the retake, and it comes down to the wire, but they'll steal it. That's a good round here from Navi, and the 5-0, the 2K spray down from Simple. He goes unchecked, almost moves out of his spot. And, you know, could really even wait longer, but you don't want to, you don't want to over, overweight in this situation in case somebody late checks it for no reason. They, they may not be kept busy attention wise. And then you got a situation where you don't get any kills. I think he does the most there. Just enough patience. Just the right amount of discipline. Well, 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 Nobby instantly on fire. Push out towards long. And you know what? Everyone's fragging too. Electronic. It's not a... A name we talk about every day anymore, but it should be. It was very consistent for a long time. 
Definitely a certified second star. What were simple stats in that second half? He went 21-1 and one in the second half. All right, so with the continuation from Nuke, he is now 30-3. and three. Glaive's going to get the entry quickly oh. on B. Oh, late, Boomich, late. hot flank. No. Yeah. Caught. Zipex tangles him up in his rope. Immediate save call coming out of Navi. So as quickly as that fire gets going, it is cooled off. Astralis, they found the solution. Simple walk into B. Whoa, that, that is an actually an interesting stat to follow from the from the last game. So nine and two. So what is it? Thirty and three, something like that. Well, you what said 21, twenty-one and one. Yeah, so thirty and, and three. And he's nine and two. Thirty and three, and they did just win their fifteenth round in a row. Yeah. Only to now to lose to Astralis. True. Yeah. That, but it's on their own accord. They decide to save that double op setup. Oh yeah, they could have won, but they're nice guys. Sometimes you gotta let them slip. Give them a little hope. Give them a little hug. I'd take a flamey bear hug any day. No offense, flamey, but give me Boomich. Or uh, Zonic. Okay. Bears on both sides. A lot, of great, a lot of great tier one options there. Walk out. Look at this. Perfecto. Just checking out that wall. And Zipex, well, splatters Boomich on the back of the tunnels. Let me see when we were in um, at Blast Moscow. Yeah. Those two kids that ran up to Boomich. Yeah. And they like slapped him on the stomach. Like, Boomich, Boomich, we love you. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a picture with them. They had the cutest smile ever. I mean, Boomich, not the kids. It's the most lovable man ever. Flash bangs out long. Zipix, he wants some. And he's going to get it by Boomich. Opening kill here for Navi. Right back to their winning ways. But can they convert it? Flamey looking to be tested over on this B site. And of course, he's working alongside Perfecto. It's a question of whether Dupree comes into the equation through mid or if he just plays this Lurk in order to cut the players off. And that's assuming they commit. They still have plenty of time to chill. Ooh. Oh, collateral for Simple. Finds both players with the one bullet. Dupree lucky to be alive. He's looking to now join forces with what is the two T's out tunnels. They eat another nade, and Perfecto is just going to tuck here behind the car. Magisk potentially to jump up, but they could also just slow down. Magisk, he's been seen. Perfecto tries to tuck, does so successfully. We do get that cross from Device. Electronic's gonna kill Dupree, and now the element of surprise is over. Flamey, hot op shot, and Navi, six rounds. Who's that? I thought it was simple. Nice shot. Well adjusted. I like how Perfecto plays that so smart, right? Doesn't aim for the guy up top, waits for the fight to come to him. Delay's perfect. Look at these late flashes. Beautiful stuff so far from Navi and he puts together the collateral damage. Don't even know if he saw the guy in the back either. It's just the kind of day Simple's having. He could do no wrong. Well, 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 the most exciting of the series so far. The pace is hot right now. I'm interested. I'm into it. Magisk. Oh, he's hurt. Wow, they're trying to get... Oh, they not try. They get out of B. And this is going to call the CTs over. This is interesting. They pull back quickly and... Whoa, Flamey's made his way to the other side of mid, but... Caught by a device, they're, however, they a T-spawn. Flank, right? Yeah, Boomich all the way back in T-spawn. He d shuts down the guy on Xbox. It's all in on B. Astralis dying out to the pistol, then the AWP. It is Dupree V2. Simple's gonna send a shot through smoke. Dupree crosses over. He's got a minute. They have the bomb out One there. One minute to get that bomb. Oof. This will be a task. And a half. There's one man for the job. It's too easy for Dupreezy. Simple goes all the way over to Long. Jesus. Look at that reposition. You're going to need a treasure map to find this man. He's not going to give himself up for nothing. Indiana Jones over here just hanging out in mid. But it's a mimic. You don't want to open that chest. It's very much a one versus one here, V. Boomich. Smoke grenade, that's gonna put Simple's op now back on T-spawn. He's gonna have an easy angle down suicide. Both players exchange grenade damage. And Dupree, he just wants that damn bomb. Oh, long range fight v Simple. Boomich, he's now confirmed in position, but Simple won't give you a second chance. He cuts him down. It's seven to one. Navi, clean lead. We'll call that 33 and three so far for Simple. Puts up three more kills. The rotations, this actually made it such a weird call, I'd say, for Astralis, because they, it's not every day I say that either, but they come out towards B, they pull back, they scare the CTs into rotating heavily over towards B, and then they try to come out mid, but that's the, the only reason that the, the T's were there is because of the presence that they made on the 
B site. So I guess maybe the idea was to try to fight them in rotation, but it ends up backfiring a little bit. We're gonna attack timeout called for Astralis. This used to be a very powerful map for them in the vetoes, but they're clearly not infallible. Not in the least. Wow, not much money here to buy either. They've been trying to uh, go quickly into openings here, even if it's on the B site. Not the game I expected whatsoever, but uh, the game I'm glad to see. <laughs> For sure, this is crazy. Let's see if it keeps up this electric tempo. Shrawl is going to be heading into the tunnels with three out the gate. Not one Galil, of course. Within the pack. Navi 3A first. Electronic falls back. Electronic and Flamey kind of got a little mid crossfire going since uh, Navi saw nothing towards tunnels and feel comfortable enough to shift attention down to the base of mid. This is where Astralis was starting off their T side. A little bit of a catwalk challenge. But we know the utilities that Navi have on hand. Speak of the devil. First one shows up. Gonna get a challenge down in mid. Mm. Smoke grenade met them on catwalk. Electronic, you don't push through this, do you? Yeah, off of the flashbang. Does not work. Now that gives an AUG over to Glaive. Well, Things they, getting a little more interesting. Boomich actually peeked out towards Long, which is interesting. He's falling back now, too. I feel like he was in a good spot to flank. But he'll start to come back. And kind of playing awkwardly within the doorway. Ooh, two missed shots from Simple. T's on close proximity. That's a bomb plant for them. And as long as Simple watches doors, that could open things up for the rest of Navi to get the retake rolling. We'll see. Simple making noise as he runs away. Does that activate Glaive? He is the only rifle left on this play for Astralis. So if he comes out too soon and dies, their chances of winning just dive. Simple, gonna find that headshot. Perfect timing from Glaive. Shaves two off long. Now he's done for. It's Magisk from the Gandalf. Looking to make that magic happen. Dodges back and Perfecto shuts him down. It's an eighth round for Na'Vi. Well, one hell of a retake. Three for Perfecto. He's been a godsend for Na'Vi here on the CD side retakes. Well done. And honestly, yeah, Glaive, he does have to take his time. He knows he can hear the footsteps running away, but that can be a very obvious bait at times with a player in pit. So it's much better to die late than early. In this case, it's a bit too late, but I think, you know, better of the two situations, of course, to at least get some kills in. Uh, and his teammates could be, you know, there could be onus on them as well to hit shots. But uh, while Simple runs away, he continues to have impact. I feel like Boomish almost misplays that a little bit. Had a really good opportunity to flank long with the mid and cap pressure that was there. But okay, Magis will come out. Some good flashes to support. A really rough spray here from Boomish, and he'll end up getting traded out. Simple up to bat next. And he doesn't have a teammate to help him with cat control whatsoever, so we'll see how nervous he gets about this. But this is when he'll start to take the correct risks, Ooh. right? He has to make something happen. What should that, be that could oh, be it. Flamey. Flamey getting Dupree could have turned things upside down, but instead it's just an additional kill going the way of Astralis. I mean, about time we see them win a second round, assuming they close this. Question now is how many players up at the end, if even? Simple. He's still a possible threat once they go for that CT cross. Retaking mid is probably imperative here for... Mm, wall of Smokes. Navi, but... Yeah, the amount of utility here left over. Late Lurk from Dupree out B as well. So eventually Perfecto, they're gonna see his legs. Simple's completely safe from that opposite side of the map, though. It's this long play. It's eventually going to fizzle into the bomb site. Smokes begin to fade. Perfecto, he'll be seen, and he takes one with Wait. him. Everybody else has fallen back other than Device. Oh, Jesus. Wait because Dupree's inside the B site, so well, he's been calling for bomb this whole time. Let's talk about odds for a second. So they're crossing back the other way. He's not going to see them just yet. Simple's still here at mid, and I think they're watching for this. Spotted. But uh, Dupree's still at the end of it, in the site now. And, Ooh. okay, Zipix will win that duel. And Device wins straight up versus Simple. So all is well and good here for Astralis. They'll pick it back up. We'll go now into round number 11. And this is the pretty rough spray here from Boomich, unfortunately, at long.
Yeah, could have been the chance to cut back a man advantage. This as well would have been a turning point because Dupree's not able to activate that long rotate over. So definitely points where Navi could have turned it upside down. They are still comfortably leading by six rounds, and this could just be the fast B hit. We've got the utility primed to pop. Hmm. Nobody from Navi has set up shop inside the site, but they still sit just outside it. And oh, that doesn't matter. Flamey, he's going to be able to get himself that double kill. Perfecto's looking for damage, and off of that flashbang, Flamey almost runs through on his own. They hold off, they cool off, and they've got a reason to. Tons of utility still to play. But they do give Astralis a chance to burn down this clock with the utility they hang on to. Oh, retaking perfectly. Here. All the incendiaries. Magus just picks up an additional molly. The only real route in is tunnels. Good thing for Navi. There's three players coming from this direction. If they can cut down Magus, then nope, he will throw that molly out. We're at that halfway point. It's going to be a pressured push. Magisk from the corner cleared out after just the first one. Device is still on plat, but he's taken out. Everybody dies. And Navi, successful retake just in the nick of time. Yeah, just perfectly played, right? They have the Boomich big flank through spawn to make sure Zipix can't get that kill again. Then they have two going through the tunnels. They have enough players to trade. They all push in at the same time. This was not the Navi that we saw trying to retake on Inferno. This is a much more well-organized Navi that look extremely powerful. Of course, 3v5 retake situation, you're not going to favor Astralis, but they could very easily win the round with just one nice spray down on a single choke point, but there was no odds there and simply even hits a no-scope to refrag on Zipix beside the door. So they'll try it again for long and again, moving very, very quickly here. Another opener for Astralis. Success on these long plays. Yeah. Boomich doesn't die empty-handed. It's just the one kill this time around. So let's see how that changes things. We do, of course, still have Simple in position. Oh. Nice. A boost on top of the barrels. Very cool. He saw it. He Ooh. hit it. He hit Device through the dirt. Ramp bang. Let that be a mess. Glaive. He's going to get close to the corner. It's not simple working alone either, but that second smoke denies them all the vision they need. Simple, he's gonna opt to still just stand here in the open. What a risk! And sure enough, Glaive will punish him for it. Boomich rattles off some rounds. That tells the T's exactly what's up, and they've convinced Navi to walk away. This is going to be Astralis with the third round. Yeah, no simple, no party there. He goes for the risky play, sits out in the open. Sometimes that's, you know, the what was that saying it's like the comfort zones there maybe at cat in that most predictable angle but out there a little bit it's where the magic happens where you have to take the risk to you know win back after you're down 4v5 risk does not pay off that quick peek up the ramp is something that may or may not have happened they could have jumped up box and died i think that's the the, the peak that simple was looking for but astralis will win five out long they trade out they're keeping it super simple it's uh I don't, it feels like Magisk is calling a little bit. Like, I, I, I just to okay. con contrast Owls, it feels like um, Magisk would call a lot more fast stuff and um, a lot more looser stuff, which is, you know, totally fine. Not to say it's bad whatsoever, but it's been a number of rushes. Maybe since yeah. he was entry on long, he suggested the play? Yeah, it could be. Of course, it is just Dust 2, after all. Yeah, spawn-based. Spawn-based gameplay. Very often, yeah. So... Flamey zopping. Wait. Flamey zopping. You can say it one more time if you'd like. Flamey zopping. Hmm. And that puts Simple back on the AUG. Now, this yeah. is where we saw that killer half. Look at the bodies they're going to throw over towards Long, but Zipex, he doesn't care about the numbers. A continuation spray that doesn't net them a second kill. Instead, it's a blinded electronic and Boomage who both walk away with kills. Glaive, quick entry into mid, met by an incendiary and the flash. CT is very much aware of what Astralis want instead of Long, and Electronic's going to die in the process. Do Astralis keep up this pressure? Flamey, he is inside of the smoke. Decides to walk through. This is the info. He's a little bit... Lost in the sauce. Device, he's going to come out from tunnels. It's a player on window. Popped. And now Flamey back in with his op. And both these T's cut down towards the car side. Glaive tagged low. And Device still able to go into the site itself. We've got one flash on Boomage. Both the CT's in mid. Let's see if Flamey knows if device, if Glaive went tunnels or not. We'll see where he looks next. Could still assume he's over by car. That's yeah. a smoke thrown. 
inside of the doorway. That's that one flash. Looks like they both want to push through windows. Device, no scope, but Boomich headshot. And look at this play from Glaive. He's slipped inside of the smoke. He is calling the bluff of Boomich. Big brain Glaive makes the play. And now Boomich, in an attempt to stick this, takes it nearly all the way, only to die out at the end. I think he had to wait a little bit longer in that situation. Glaive was just about to peak for that 10 second portion. And I think if he had. He kind of made the worst of both worlds move with the diffuse, the second diffuse that comes in. Either stick it or wait until the very end of that like 10 second period where the CT maybe get fully nervous. But he obviously didn't know exactly where Glaive was. So always going to be a risk when you try to go for that stick. And it's uh, Navi to lose. Astralis win one after a very, it's just a bare knuckle fist fight really with the game way on. that this game has gone. First this long hit, then just the play out mid. Astralis looking to get it to mid round as quickly as possible it looks like. Flamey did a hell of a job with that op. Yeah, making the most of the swapped doors. This is Astralis doubling their round count in the last two. They could triple it if they close it with another couple. Dupree, two CTs out in the open. Nice, controlled little burst there. Takes the head off Flamey and Magisk, then eliminates Electronic. So, two more pistols to uh, shoot off to the wayside. Send him to the dumps. Zipex going to do exactly that, at least with Perfecto. Simple on a CZ. Do you believe? Of course. And Zipex, not so much. Well, they're making the most of this half when it really started out badly. So continuing on with the fast plays, it feels a bit 50-50 with some of the entries. But again, nature of the map a little bit. Playing it slow maybe wasn't uh, their MO coming in. And... Well, they've recovered fully. They're on their feet. Looking for the 6-9 half. Auto sniper. Want to yeah, that's definitely just worth it right there. Fast play out mid, and they're trying to split once again. Simple. He's coming up on Glaive. Let's we'll see how this interaction goes. Oh, oh he oh. switched? Switch. Did he? Weapon switch, yeah. yeah. Either that or his arms got blown off. What are, the, what are two situations yeah. you pick? Oh, device catching Flamey on the side of the smoke. This is Astralis looking for a sixth round on their T side after losing 9-2. to two. You do not let Astralis back into a half. It's not easy. Oh, Dupree. He's not going to expect a second player in the same position. Device is going to deal a bit of damage. Perfecto so pinned into this corner. And, well, there's still a fight to unfold at the base of mid. They clear out Car and Magisk waits long enough. Side. Was it pretty? No. Is it enough? Maybe. It's time to find out. The final half of this opening best of three. That's not going to work. Burst shots down middle? I don't believe. Simple's not done. Not with this P250 on the T side pistol. Dude, his kill average for the series is going to be absolutely ridiculous at this pace. Yeah, he's kind of nuts. Although not nearly as invincible as he was on that second half of Nuke. However, Navi on the T side. This could be a whole new beast. Device inside of the A site will just try to hold the line as Glaive's able to get himself one kill. But then the site's clear. Glaive still tapping away. This is just a big fight, and the damage is not going the way of Astralis. It's the opposite. Very much outnumbered now. Navi hunting those double digits. All, oh, dueled all the way through. <clears throat> Glaive will have to dig deep. He's obviously going to go for this one. 40 HP to his name. Let's see if the quick one tap comes out right away. Oh, okay, Ooh. now we're in business, right? We can start running up. Yep. We just have to figure out where the second player is. He knows one's on site. The double oh. is in, and oh my goodness gracious. It's Glaive. simple. Do you have it in you? You know he's in the corner. Flashbang out. He's looking for the peak. He's going to get the headshot. Glaive, the 1v3, 40 HP, back against the wall, and he brings in the seventh. Make that five rounds in a row here for Astralis. Four kills on the round for Glaive. And you can see the reactions of Astralis. They know how much of a burden that pistol loss would have been. Well, that's something fantastic. You wanted to talk about Simple's individuals. Well, Glaive, he has silently racked up the kills. He is 16 and 8. The least killed player in the... No, Flamies has 7. 
Second least killed player in the server. Damn. That's, those are both interesting. Flamey, of course, come under fire for his stats sometimes. But looking like he deserves a spot on this roster here with this uh, All right. map so far. <clears throat> Well, that's game. That's that could be an equalizer right here. We'll see if they survive the anti eco. That's a pretty monstrous one v three, man. Oh boy, oh, we are right. All right, all right. See if it matters. Time. Electronics gonna just rush through that mid doors, making sure that Dupree can't get away with it. They wanted their man advantage, so they took it right back. And Zipex off cat could peek into mid. We've got Glaive with the M4 on mid doors. Valuable rifles to be lost here in round 17. Astralis, they better be on high alert. And Navi, they just fall silent. Yeah, I think Astralis know at this point they get really, they get really turtly here on these Antiquos on T side. Advantage, no advantage, it doesn't matter. They sit and wait, and no, it'll cost them a little bit. Untradeable kill here on Simple. Things start to open up uh, for the rest of the CTs. Of course, Maybe. it's there on the ecoing side. Electronic finds another at mid. That smoke comes down mid. B bomb is going tunnels. Frag grenade thrown out. Completely 1v2 dud. here in the site. Yeah, Magisk versus Perfecto and Boomich. But if he just lets them exit, then he could catch them in the open 20 seconds and a late round rotation. Well, There's two weapons in mid if they want it, but instead they're gonna try to fight for this A site. Zipex, he is deep on the bomb site, just hiding, crabbed up, ready to go. Oh, and it's an instant headshot. Very nice from Zipex. Peeks back off the flash. No time left. And all the kills come in for Astralis. They stabilize. That was a weird rotation, right? Uh, we have Electronic specifically at mid to try to defend against this. The only thing I can think is they expected Zipex to be recollecting information at long, potentially. Who knows? But the only thing they lost, or well, what they lost, was time off the clock. So they could have played getting into the site a little bit more carefully. And they had potential to split mid to B with electronic, but not so much mid to A with electronic. So, yeah, <clears throat> to each his own, I suppose. Don't know what info that they had. Wow. Whoa. Okay. That's how this is going to start. Device up the fishing rod. Immediately into the AWP, finds a shot like that on long glaive, wastes no time. But he did just missed a little bit of timing. And Boomich will punish him for it. Okay. This kind of magnetizes Zipex up cat a little bit. He's playing into it. We've got device still scoped in from sight. Again, one of the very best car A flex players, whatever you want to call it, over uh, on Dust2 in this game. <clears throat> Knows how to find his openings. It's one of the positions that you'll see why you can't call him passive. He knows exactly how to create value from these positions. Tough, tough spot here for Navi without an op, knowing that there's an op on A waiting for them. Four and four is cool, but look at Magisk. He's already got tunnels control. And it feels like a lot of people are five longing these days, but I'm really not seeing tons of results, honestly, in the games that we've watched. Um, you give up so much other map control, and they don't even have smokes for the cross. They have four Molotovs and one flashbang. So they are quite simply going to have to deathmatch across long. Oh, and they cannot lose simple. Device, he's going to find himself two op shots. Boomich, the only player to succeed in getting a kill. Four kills for Device on the round. That was a pretty... Uh, and Astralis tie at nine. A little bit of a weird situation where you don't have any cross smoke. You have, like, four Molotovs, and you're trying to go for this cat split, but then you're suddenly running out of time, and then you've got to get simple up cat. They were, they were phoning it in on this round. They left it wide open for a Device. He almost got through that smoke simple, but caught by the underpa or the uh, tunnels push. Oh, what you doing down there, simple? Hands where we can see it. Hands up. Guns out. Three Deeks, Tech Nine, Smoke, Flash, minimal. Minimal tools here for Navi. Seven rounds in a row for Astralis. Four off at the end of the last half, three straight this time, including the first gun round. Relegated to the pistols here in the 19th. This is the strong mid to B setup, right? You've got the one on scaffolding outside of B, two in the site, ready, eyes forward, off angle for Dupree, ready to dodge flashes. They should go over him. So, 
Navi will kind of catch on to the scent here. No one peeking mid. They'll think potentially about going for the A split. I mean, rounds like these, you can't sleep on them. Yeah, we have a Glock here for Boomich, but it's totally winnable with one or two entries. Rotations yeah. will be demanding here. The middle of the map, totally excavated on the CT side. They'll flash out, put some pressure on pit. Device comes. Glaive ducks. Device flashes for him. That's the M4 activated, and sure enough, Boomich dies. As expected, he was just that Glock player, kind of a space creator. And a boost up onto blue could catch Glaive off guard. Sure enough, he tucks. But it's still substantial damage. His frag grenade also not half bad. He's got a second player now over towards ramp to lend a helping hand. Perfecto caught in the open by Dupree. That's a done deal. And Zipex draws the pistol fire towards him. Glaive very much just tucked into position and hoping his teammates deliver every single kill. But Deagle's back for Navi. And it's then shut down. Dupree. He's able to spray in the final 15 seconds. It's Astralis with double digits and a one-round lead. It's definitely a surprisingly tenuous moment there. Trying to take long control, knowing there's somebody in pit. Or, well, knowing you're, I guess, fighting against long control, I should say. But everybody contributes. The rotations are just fine. Glaive lives long enough for the rotation and car to come in from Zipex and Dupree as well. So everybody's there, and they have no problem stopping the hit. Even though the boost came through. I think you got dinked through the wood or something like that. This duel's gonna happen, huh? Well, the Flash will deny that for a little bit. Don't know if anybody's gonna try to run through. Boomich here. Gonna line up a smoke. Are they potentially going through this? It doesn't seem likely, but... Once again, Astralis move into this heavy lean towards the mid-B setup. Yeah. Device on scaffold. Just saw uh, him. You saw him, yeah. Boomich is so locked into this position, and the incendiary is going to force him out. He has no smoke, but a missed shot. Oh. And Boomich, he's going to go right back at him. And if it wasn't for Dupree in the corner, you'd think that op goes down. But in the meantime, Navi, they use the distraction, push into the action on the B site. Perfecto single kill. Magis doubling down, and he sees Simple. Shaves him down to nine points of health. And yeah, just like that, it's Navi falling back. We're seeing rifling here from Magisk in the site, and Device, he just, he, he like, he's like baiting himself, basically, with those shots, right? Both versus the mid guy, and knowing Dupree's in that corner, as well as within the site when he comes into the window. It really sets up Magisk beautifully to shine. Heated engagement at the halfway point in this round, then Device goes back to where this one started. That angle on to Boomich which could have cost him had it not been for Dupree, the only player who's lost his life for Astralis in round 20. Electronic looking for some kind of way to jackknife this open, but he is so boxed in from all directions, and Zipex is going to take that fight. It's Astralis on fire. Five rounds in a row on the CT side, plus the four at the end of the T half. Nine straight from 9-2 to 9-11. Yeah, no kidding. They're really in the power position now. CT side looks so powerful, putting a lot of pressure here, and this is just the end of the round. No chance really to bring it back. It's the fact that you run into a mid to B setup with the op and two other riflers over here. The, that initial mid aggression was clearly all that, uh, all that uh, Astralis needed to know for them to move into that setup. So Navi will call attack timeout. We don't know if they know because they, uh, the rotations went were behind the smoke. So they didn't see anybody rotate over. But uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect to see Astralis take a lead in this map after the first half and what we saw. How many kills Simple was getting, Electronic was getting. But on the T side, things have changed. Device and Dupree, they're opping. It looked like, really, it honestly looked like Astralis didn't care if they won or lost by the end of that half with the way that they were rushing out on every single choke point, but it actually ended up working and getting them a lot of rounds. At this point, Astralis have three more kills than all of Navi. Two more rounds. Double op between Device and Dupree. Really everything they could ask for in this one, but there is an open route, interestingly enough, from Cat to A-Site. As long as Glaive stays preoccupied with Flamey, it is very much on Device. But Glaive gets an easy kill on Long. Dupree picks one up through doors as they were trying to execute into this A site. There is still a chance for a plant. They could just go ahead and put out the fire with the smoke. 
but not even. It doesn't quite reach the entire plant zone. Now it's going to take some individual heroics, but you've got three of the hard hitters of Navi still up. And there's the first. He's so good with that Tech-9, man. Simple still playing on top of his bomb. Magus comes outwards, but Glaive covers that exact angle at the exact moment. Boomage, he hits his headshot and takes down Dupree. But Electronic goes down after only the one kill to his name. 12th to Astralis. Three rounds the lead. Yeah, it it's, looks like it could get a bit sketchy, but Astralis have a lot of outs there. They can fall back on other players. Everyone's covering each other beautifully. There's a nice shot from Dupree showing that he can op every once in a while as well. And now we're going to move into the next round where we'll have a proper buy out of Na'Vi and we'll get to see what the strategy is going to be. They are moving into things right away without going for too much map control. But again, it's just very spawn based affair sometimes with it feels like both of these teams at the moment either taking law control or even a mid spawn to get out quickly. Throwing some nades out in both direction to cause some confusion. But what they want to get out of the rotates is the question. Trying to see if a push will come in. And here is that push. Perfecto. From the bottom of the scoreboard for Navi, looking for the 2K. This is where we could actually find out this op is very powerful, but atypical position. Oh. Yeah, it, like, it's such a powerful push to put in, man. And then Flamey's going to get iced out over on long. Five versus three near immediately here for Astralis. They are fighting on both extremities of the map. A war on multiple fronts that siphons Navi into the catwalk. A very clearly expected attack. Two players over on ramp for Astralis. They just need to let them walk into their own graves. Mm, they're getting annihilated in this mid-round, or early round, I should say. What can they do? What can they do? I think they'll commit off the cat smokes. wonder if anyone's dropping CT in this position. It wouldn't be the worst spot in the world to do it. Yeah, Boomish will get down there. And this is the get the op off of long oh my god boomich will actually wow, it's really through flank oh two Ooh. kills they get him now zipex comes back to claw this into control still one man the edge and he dives back around the corner he knows as long as he stays up we could still see the retake but navi with boomich and electronic getting those simultaneous kills they have put simple in a powerful position two cts coming in from catwalk magisk he has all of the nades Hell, even Dupree with a secondary incendiary. Sure enough, throws them onto the bomb site. That is excellent damage. And it forces Electronic over towards ramp. He drops his shot. Simple does not the first one, but then it's just outnumbered. Astralis, a retake, successful on A to grab that 13th round. They just tossed them in the instant pot, right? Applied so much pressure so quickly. Molotov into Goose, and then they... It feels like there's a chance that Navi can win, but from our perspective, like, Zipix is just playing with them at this point. They're looking for that exact timing where they know they have to try to peek, they know that Zipix has to come up, but he waits just long enough. That has to be so annoying to try to deal with, and Astral is using their utility perfectly. Even that extra nade and incendiary to soften up the player sitting around Goose, that's all incredibly useful. So they use the deep Molotov to hold him back, and Glaive is pushing off of this, but... Oh, and now with the play, they're in a it. perfect position. Just Astralis, to get just the fueling room. themselves. This is 11 rounds in a row, starting to take risks, starting to take initiatives, awesome. and why not when it's working? Wow. That's Zipex a... banked off the backboard. That's such a sick tactic. I don't think I've seen them use that, but... I'm sure they have. Just throwing them incendiary down with a combined flash. They sit in front of it, literally, as they're running down mid every single round. Yet another invitation to go from cat to A. Two players deep from Astralis on long. Device called back. They've been unable to even whittle this down to a 1vx ever since that pistol. Two 1vx situations picked up by Astralis in this 11 round spree they are getting out played thoroughly outplayed oh but simple he gets device off cycle with the op peeks into it this is there's a player down in ct spawn yeah. but this should still be a bomb plant for sure another post plant attempt it seems depends on how much they want to fight Glaive, 22 and 12 all the way on the depths of long and astralis well their other two players now come through tunnels so there you Still a little bit of time. 
They can go for the cat retake. Well, they can combine with long. They've got so many points to retake. Yeah. Now, if you're looking for some map control, but they have a they have a smoke to use for cat as well, so they can isolate simple here. Yeah, he dives. That's the tough part. Misses his shot as he goes for the peak. Now 11 HP. Sees the head of the player getting close. He wants to take somebody with him. Perfecto, he's going to lend that helping hand. And Bomb, well, it's ticking pretty quickly, but what? three instant kills from Astralis. Oh, and they jump on that bomb. Oh, do they have time? No, no. Point three six. My that God. That is how they put an end to the streak. It comes down to the absolute wire, but timing is their sixth player. And they are all broke off that round. This next one should be a piece of cake for Astralis if if we've learned anything. I mean, it was a good try though. Like they do it in the three v five again, right? To get it that close. Yep. So 3v5 off catwalk. Yeah. They get the opening kill simple. Makes things happen. Oh, makes things happen. Fly. Mac 10, Galil. Hey. And oh, um, what you... I don't even know how that happens. What was that? He was trying to stand on the railing to what looked like throw a smoke on long A. Oh, got a nut. <laughs> <laughs> that well, electronic is absolutely shagging ass with these odd guns. Tech 9, Mac 10. He's owning all of the rifles. That's actually B site just completely wide open. If only Navi knew. Yeah, you better keep that head tucked. <laughs> Little crab walker. <laughs> um, hmm. Scurries across his spawn. Precarious position. You know, if I was Astralis, I would probably assume or lean towards B, even though there's been a lot of cat hits just because of the light buy. But at this point of the round. Things might have changed a little bit. I hope that wasn't Boomich's Xbox smoke. I don't know. Hmm. Glaive trying to play around the edge of the smoke. 40 seconds on the clock. This double op setup, man, it's been so key. Dupree's going to have a line of vision through the doors. He just smoked off tunnels and then Ooh, peeks time. down into the base of middle to catch Electronic. Glaive, he's going to get up close and personal. And with as many kills as he has, well, there's no reason to believe he can't do this, but he's going to get himself just the first one. Simple finds him through that smoke and Dupree, well, now he's in a pressured spot. Misses his second shot and goes down at the hands of Perfecto. It's a low health on Perfecto, but he's primed Simple to try and go big for this clutch. Navi trailing by three, but if they could take this 11th round, and by no stretch of the imagination, they absolutely could. Zipex, if he can dunk that frag grenade all the way in the depths of Platt, then Perfecto is absolutely dead. Flash goes over the top. Zipex sees him, and he's just going to keep that head tucked. Oh. You can see him thinking about he's it. thinking about it. But Perfecto comes up, he takes the duel, he gets the kill, and he still gets dunked on. Device dives through the window, and Simple finds him just over smoke. Navi have a chance. My goodness gracious. Holy crap, are they actually going to be able to come back into this? That's not something I expected after the insane streak of rounds that, uh, that uh, Astralis have put together. 13 to 11. We definitely have a real game of it now. This trade through the smoke is everything, but you think no way it, it, it results in anything. Dupree misses a couple of key op shots. If he hit even one of two, you'd think for sure it's over. And Astralis are on pistols. So it's been a very strange go of it, honestly. A stack up towards mid. This is a very powerful position for pistols to be in. You cannot sleep on this setup, but long control is here for Astralis, so... It'll be hard to do more than isolate a couple of rifles that are in tunnels at this moment. They'll start to peel back a little bit. I think Navi might not be 100% aware of how much money Astralis have at this point. Because of how many rounds in a row they won. So they're going to try to feel things out. And that'll be a first tell. Door peak. Trying to keep those cat players at bay. Perfecto, Galil up, good for two. Third CT confirmed through mid, but it's really the ramp hit that's going to spell disaster for Astralis as if the economy hadn't already. A 12th for Navi. Three rounds in a row after what was 11 straight from Astralis. Now we're in business. You can feel it. Oh, yeah. Electricity on both sides of the server. 
Individual kills coming in. Electronic does not want to lose this. I think number one. Just keep the rifle on Dufree. For now. Probably would have been a more comfortable situation. They don't even have the money to get the op up on device again. Not that that's absolutely imperative either. Holy crap, they're going through with aggression. Disrespecting the default right up to the top of mid. Dupree does not die. No refrag is in place. And, and D D device, excuse me, has the fallback, the refrag into lower. That gets shut down. There's no one else to come through. Simple is walking up now. We'll find the dead body of Electronic, but no murderer in sight. Boomich is sitting here outside of the tunnels. Outside of Long, excuse me. And three CTs are coming to try to reclaim it. Carefully, quietly. Same as simple. Silently sulking towards mid doors. They've still got enough utility and we have seen Navi in 3v5 situations assault that A site with success. One time bomb pops off with like half a second left. They've also gotten the plant only to then lose in the post. But that's a hope for Navi in this 26th round. 40 seconds on the clock. Counter terrorists just as well equipped with utility. Zipex, he is thinking about taking this little bit of a risk to play the side of the smoke. Yeah, there's a couple of options, right? Move up towards the smoke, sit Dodge in the flash. same place. Simple, he's going to challenge. Simple, he's going to die. Perfecto looks to trade frag. Zipex just to the pistol. Perfecto finds him. 20 seconds remain. Uh oh. And they've got to make a decision either forward or back. Well, they got to go now. Flashes over the top. Magisk sitting on ramp, somewhat blinded. Let's them extend into the wide open and sprays for both. <laughs> Astralis back to winning ways. That does not move. Unpeak, sideways, strafe. He just sits there and holds that spray for dear life, and it works out well. They can't trade him out. Starts off with this aggression. What a brave call to make in a situation like this. Honestly, things were going really well in some of these other rounds. You'd think they'd go back to that and just close out the end. Instead, they change it up completely. That is such a big risk to take, but, uh, you know, that's the that's the kind of calling that can win you game. So now that separates them a little bit more. Two-round lead for Astralis. We have the skeleton by here, a few Galils, a couple Galils. No op in place. But they're not going up against one either. They're going to do the boost setup in CT spawn. One of the lesser used spots here for Astralis. Used to be a very commonplace tactic, but these days I've noticed they just avoid it most of the time. But it's these kind of pocket plays, these atypical things that you might do that will make the most sense. And you can see with Clay crossing to the left side of mid, he's pretty confident it's going to be a mid B. Otherwise, you wouldn't throw Dupree up here and rotate out. And look what is coming his way. Oh, man. They are, they are in positions. Perfect positions, really, to deal with this. Forty seconds. When's the hit? Watch for Dupree to pop up. Oh, Magisk just oh. completely caught in Glaive. He's going to be standing up into the open. Hit gets hit by Electronic. Dupree unable to stop them from coming up mid. What even happened there? Did someone just did one person walk out? We had one player walk all the way to the window. I think. Oh my God! And I don't know if Dupree that. was watching it. Yeah, he was just sitting pretty. If my he, goodness. If he crossed in front of the box to the far side of middle and then walked up to the window, then I think there's a chance that Dupree didn't have that angle. You saw the smoke blocking 50% of the ramp. Oh my goodness! And then also, we we've got to get a third party on that. Oh, yeah, and also to, it's Glaive who gets shot in the back from tunnels. How the how on earth does that happen? Smoke comes up, or Magisk rather, just kind of like moving from the corner into the platform. First guy to die? Mm, yeah, I don't know. I think it was... Yeah, I think... I thought Glaive had the off angle, but um, I was, I was kind of surprised about that. I don't know what just happened there. They were all in prime positions. Of course, you can walk under that smoke. It's not perfect. Let's watch. And we'll see. Of course, we had the right and left setup. Oh, my God. He tries to leave from that spot. Yeah. And then Glaive even dies right here, right? Yeah, so, right in the window. To electronic who we don't know how exactly he got there oof pause called astral is going to try and cool off they've got to buy up that's not the problem and 
Well, scary part here for... I don't even know if it's scary, actually. I was going to say, Navi, you know, running into a setup like that, you'd think, oh, crap, we actually made the play they wanted us to make and still won, luckily. How do we not get red the next round? But I think for the most part, for Astralis, it was more of a gamble there. They didn't have the full information. They just made the correct read. Um, the, but they don't know about Dupree boosted up in mid. And the setup got dismantled in the B side. So they're probably pretty happy with themselves for the way that round went. We're going to have back-to-back tax called here. Yeah, Navi takes to, one now. To talk about things. Uh, this time, I think we've got Device Opping when we had him on an AUG this last round. So technically, the buy improves despite losing the last round. And uh, I don't know. I'm sure Astralis don't want to try to do the mid-aggression mid once again. If I'm Navi, I'm probably waiting for it for at least a little bit. Even if I'm going to do a full B, I'd probably wait for that, number one. And I don't know. Spawns are all over the place here on the T side. Could uh, end up going towards long if they want to. That would keep it very simple. They don't really have an op to work off to make more progress from there, but I'm not sure if that's going to be the call. Well, this is going to be a pretty tense situation, right? Anything could happen. Posted device. Oh my god, Boomin just shoot. tucks his yeah, head. Yeah, he saw it. A little bit of frag damage. Smoke's blanketing the entirety of these doors. Boomich. Oh my goodness. He's throwing his utility over the top. He's got a player close. Dupree. Just behind the doors. Device misses the flick. He's down to half health. Dupree. He's looking to stop simple. Good headshot. But a weapon swap almost costs him. He does die in the end. But Boomich on 3 HP after the fact. And now Electronic, having just pressured Cat, also slides into mid. Look at Flamey. Eyes pressed up against this long hit. Cat split could come through. Device misses another shot. He knows. Looks for it through the door. Yeah. Three I mean, players coming off now. the cat. Glaive, he's going to dive. Oh, they've got the double oh. setup on the site. And the frag grenade was wonderful. Boomage, he gets blown off of the front of this assault. There's still two players back on cat. That third over on the pit. They Suppressive to... fire, buying time, device getting up on box and electronic. He's trying to watch this, but he has a single point of health and he still manages kills. All three players from Navi. Low HP and only Magisk left to stop them. 30 seconds and they somehow, some way in that pressure cooker of a catwalk position come up with every single kill. Magisk, he's going to answer. It's electronic to fall first. Perfecto and Flamey. Neither one watching Cat. Magis going to extend ever so slightly. And Perfecto, he's just walking down that ramp a couple steps down. Magis now on site with Kit. Bomb in the eyes of Flamey on long. Perfecto, he's not being covered. And the headshot connects. Flamey at a distance gives Navi 14. Holy crap, they actually pull that off. What a moment on Cat where they're turning the corner. Astralis have everything in place to pull off that retake. And every shot goes the way of Navi. They're covering it. They're watching their flank here. They're respecting the fact that the smoke goes up on Cat. That's a scary situation for both Navi and Astralis. Like, who actually has the edge there? They have to find out once wow. it disappears. That's insane. It comes down to that moment, and every single kill goes the way of Navi, but you have to give them credit. They were aware of all the possible outcomes and made sure to hit their shots. It's a crazy level that we're hitting with these uh, mid-round situations. Round 29. Another timeout is going to be called for Navi. Every time Astralis take one, Navi do two. Almost 90 rounds tonight. In fact, there will be at minimum with just this series. It, it was very messy at first. In the start of this game, it was very much a bare, a bare knuckle fist fight here. And it's now come to the last few moments after a huge comeback from Astralis. Navi suddenly looking like they're not scared at all. Astral is four rounds at the end of their T side. They're definitely not playing at their peak at the moment. And Navi are jumping on every opportunity to exploit their weaknesses. Simples come up. Only five kills, I think, in the second half. So not had the most impact just yet. But, but I think a lot of those kills them. are recently. Yeah. 
Definitely. 19 on Electronic and Perfecto. 15 apiece for Flamey and Boomich. Somebody's securing a 15th round right here, right now. And we've got the cast set up for Zipix. So trying to find one point of aggression quite timidly. They've got Dupree floating around mid. Look at this, four lean towards the A site. What on earth has possessed them to go into this setup? We'll see if Navi feed into it. Oh my god, they might be. Boomish at the top of middle. Bombman certainly hasn't made a decision quite yet. And they're trying to give them distractions, make them feed into the idea that they should come out. One player towards this B site. Oh man, man, he'll. I think he'll be lonely. Might be the retaker in this situation. None of the spots they're mollying out. You're gonna find any CTs. Oh, Zipix. But look at the bomb. Locked. It's a fake. They're feeding. Oh my God. This they're making perfect. a perfect play. They're but feeding into their desire that it's gonna be an A play. This 4A setup isn't going anywhere. Magisk has to deal with five players, and he's only got a goddamn Falmus. He's got a smoke grenade if he wants to lay it down. 30 seconds, round 29, and there are 30 seconds. And now Astralis, they're starting to figure out the error of their ways. Magisk, reality sinks in. He gets a quick first headshot, but Electronic through middle has already traded that out. Call it a and day. Astralis have to save. Navi, after 11 rounds in a row from Astralis, they turn around and win six of the last seven to take 15-14 on map Three, they, the reverse sweep of the series, a single round away. They do everything to stroke Glaive's ego, right? They they put the pressure on mid to make it seem like they're clearing things out. Then they move to long late and make the full rotation over towards the B site. And Astralis, they don't move a muscle. They sit on the A site thinking, yes, the round's coming to us completely. Completely outplayed though. And Navi, this isn't the first time on Nuke. We saw this in the final few rounds. It felt like they got lucky to get there, and as soon as it came to those really clutch moments, as an IGL, whether it's Blade, Boomich, or whoever is helping them with the mid-round, they've made the exact right decision and out-called Astralis completely. What's the buyback there here was, for Astralis? There, there was moments there, just a few rounds ago. Astralis had the right read on the setup. They laid it, they laid out the plan perfectly. They sat in the right positions, but they failed to get the kills. And now they've dug themselves this grave. It's their turn to take a 15th. Oh, an op shot into device. Let that serve as a warning. A push into the tunnels though. This oh. time they're gonna get all the info really early on. Two players over on long, four members of Navi to face them. How do you get these players out of tunnels though? What's the play here from Astralis? They're low on guns here. That's the that's the real issue. They can be in tunnels, they have information, but uh, they're in kind of retake spots hoping it Here's comes back late pop. tunnels. Zipex, he's got a player behind him in oh device, boy. but that's already 20 HP and Flamey. He is looking for this headshot. Oh. Electronic finding that A site is open. Amali goes that. all the way deep, and Electronic, he's going to take the first rotate off. They didn't anticipate the catwalk up. Zipex, single kill. Magisk dead. Device with the double from the back of the corner with 10 HP. 50 seconds, bombs at his side. Long. He just saw the player through doors. Perfecto's gonna push in. He takes a little bit of damage. Where is Dupree? Coming up from middle, trying to help, and Device finally dies. Now they have no clue where Dupree is at, but they have an inkling, and they walk this back. Audio cues being given. He holds, he waits, and they run to A. Plank can come in now. Dupree coming in through the smoke. He has to do something crazy. There's no way he's going to get away with a regular round here. Oh! Waiting to come through the smoke and Navi do it. Again, they... another beautifully called round. Perfectly played by Navi. All the utility, the reads, everything.